is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends has millions of players and dozens of tough bosses, but its heart and soul are its jaw-droppingly gorgeous champions. And guess what? They've just introduced an entirely new playable faction. Get ready to meet the Shadowkin. The Shadowkin is shrouded in mystery, hailing from the furthest reaches of the eastern continent beyond the Brimstone Path. It's believed that they've been under the brutal heel of the Demon Spawn for the last several hundred years. Only in the past few months have they overthrown Siroth's yoke and revealed themselves to the other factions. Are they honorable? Yes. Evil? Not anymore. Are they good? Only time will tell. This faction is just getting started. Come meet the new arrivals in the game. My favorite faction's the Barbarians. This is Baroth the Blood Soaked. His special skill is Serpent Axes. Oh, look at that. They spelled Robert R. Burstrong. This is Farrakhan the Fat. One of his best skills is the Body Block. And this month, Raid just released an insane amount of new content and new things to do. First up, they've released 11 amazing new champions and also released almost 200 brand new missions to complete with an exclusive legendary champion as your reward if you manage to finish them all. And if that's not enough, they've also added five tough new levels to almost every single dungeon in the game. That's an incredible amount to add in just one month. As always, Raid is getting bigger and better every single month and it's never been easier to get started. You can find me in the game under the nickname Dr. Demolition and if you're quick enough, you can even join my clan. All you have to do is hit the link in the description below. Thanks so much to Raid for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. Welcome to Demolition Ranch! We I bought some new shoes. Um, you should watch to the very end of this video. After the outro, I'm gonna give you a little clip. Um, had a little incident while we were filming that intro. Got a little burned. Uh, see, these shoes are supposed to be fireproof. They are a little burned right there. But also, I... Ugh, I got tore up blistered and then burned all the way down here. I'm working hard for you guys. Just want y'all to know, I'm really putting everything into this, this episode. Ugh. Well, we got some new shoes. Let me tell you a few things about these shoes. Perfect blend of comfort style and protection. It's time to take your shoe game to the next level. You can finally get more done in less time at work and play. Each and every step you take will give you the productive edge you've been dreaming of. They're really, really selling this. I bought a pair. These shoes are built with military grade Kevlar, an incredibly tough and extremely lightweight material. Do they really have Kevlar in them? I am not sure that there's actually Kevlar. These are, I'm not sure. I think they might be lying about that part. For the first time ever, wow, first time ever, you won't have to sacrifice comfort for protection. Moisture wicking mesh lining for maximum airflow and breathability to prevent stinky and sweaty feet. I could sweat through these for sure, not a problem. European steel toes made from heavy duty steel to fully protect your toes. They show him walking on nails. They say puncture resistance, military grade material keeps your feet safe from the workplace environmental hazards. So maybe the Kevlar's in the sole. We'll check that out for sure. Shock resistant sole provides ultimate whole body relief. My back hurts, so that's gonna be nice to have. Fire resistant, perfect for any work environment. We already burned them like accidentally, so we'll see how fire resistant they really are. <laughs> Okay, so far fire resistant. Okay, let's see what we got here. Actually is doing better than I thought it would be doing right now. Like the shoe is sort of melting at the top, but like not down here. That's honestly pretty good. All right, we're gonna call that a pass because it's totally on fire. Not sure how I'm gonna actually get it to go out. Good job, fake shoes. Shoelace is totally burned up. The like foam at the top burned up, but this, I wonder if that's the Kevlar. I don't know, maybe they have red dyed Kevlar. This fabric, this red stuff around here did not burn. You can see where that black stuff that was just decorating the outside did burn. Oh wait, we might've got a little burn over here. Maybe, I don't know, that might've just been a seam. Yeah, that was a seam. That's two different pieces. So the threads that was holding that together, those melted away and opened it up. But actually this red stuff looks pretty good for as much as it was just on fire. Nice. Insides are not burned, crazy. And that was on fire for like a good minute. Here's the other shoe and I started looking around. This one's the new one that we haven't burned. There's your Kevlar right there. So the sole is Kevlar, which is why they show walking on nails because the nails won't go through that Kevlar. We're gonna shoot the side of here, which I think it's gonna go straight through. And then if it does, we'll shoot here and see if it goes up through there. And then we also have a steel toe in the end of this thing. We'll shoot that as well. 22 long rifle going at the side here. A little bit, I don't know. Oh, dude, it went through the freaking sole. This is the one that was super inaccurate last time. I feel like you guys are gonna think it's me. Watch, watch what I can do. I'm gonna just aim center of mass. 
Dang it, that one hit center of mass. Okay, they are all shooting about three inches low. I'm gonna aim center of his head. That's going really accurately. So never mind. I thought this thing was shooting all over the place. Turns out the sights are just off because it is shooting like two inches low and an inch right. All right, I got her dialed in now. Firing at the shoes now. Yeah, that's it right there. Little hole there. Definitely went through there. Hit that. The red is not bulletproof at all. There's a bullet. There's our 22 totally smashed with concrete put in there. Okay, let's do this now. Now that I know how to aim this gun. I hope this stops. Nope. <laughs> Dang it. There's our hole right there. Straight through our Kevlar, right there. Straight through the tongue and into the cinder block. These indestructible shoes are not very indestructible. <laughs> Shooting the toe now? Hopefully at least the toe is bulletproof. Oh yeah. So you can see our hit right there. Did not go in. Yay, video saved, yay! Stepping it up to a real caliber. We got a nine millimeter out of the old German Luger. I think it's gonna go through, but I really hope it doesn't for your sake. Did not go through. Dented it pretty good though. Solid hit with that nine millimeter. Did not stop. <laughs> Thank goodness. 45 ACP, a big old fat round out of this CMMG with a suppressor on it. I think this is gonna stop after seeing that nine. Wow, that was a good flip. All right, what we got? Oh dang, it dented it bad. There's like nothing there anymore. But it did not go through. We're gonna cut it open. I always have the dullest knife in my pocket because I use knives a lot. <sighs> Dang, there's our bullet. Holy cow, it's really hot, dude. There's the jacket of our 45. There's the lead of our, ow, it's really, really hot. There's the lead. Did not go through. It would have definitely pinched your toes really bad though. It totally bent that metal down into the sole. You would be hurting, but your toes would still be attached. We uh, actually bought two pairs. Yeah, they're like 80 bucks a piece, so you're welcome, internet. We bought two pairs of these stupid indestructible shoes. Turns out only the toe is indestructible. We're gonna shoot them with something moving a little bit faster. That should have a better chance of getting through. This time, 10 millimeter. It's very similar to a 45 ACP, but it's smaller and going faster, so it should have a better chance of penetrating. Plus, 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 a higher quality rifle. All right, firing. Swish. Dude, yeah, very similar to the 45. Oh, I can see the bullet right there, but totally stopped it. Oh yeah, it's the same deal. Would have totally pinched your toe down, but did not go through. There is the lead. There is the jacket. There is the hit on that steel. Did not go through. Let's shoot it with something faster. Last shoe that we have not destroyed yet. We're gonna shoot something old school. That is a 30-30 like one of the most common lever action cartridges. A lot of deer were killed by a grandpa with one of these. Yeah, that's gonna go straight through. That's a fast moving round. Out of the old Henry color case hardened steel lever action. Let's see what happens. It's for sure gonna go through though, right? Not if I miss. Need to aim a little higher. Went through right there, came out right there. Totally missed by a centimeter. Okay, I thought that went back a little further. Let me aim again a little higher. We got this, round two. First try. Yep. <laughs> Ended in right here, came out right there. Not even close to stopping that fast moving 30-30. There's your toe right there. You are definitely missing probably half of your big toe and part of the next one. Yeah, they're gone. Those are gone for sure. So these indestructible shoes, turns out they were destructible. <laughs> Crafted for the battlefield. If you are going to the battlefield, we've got the shoe for you. The first thing you know when you open it up and it says safety shoe, you know you're good to go. I'm pretty sure actually those other shoes, we did a video a long time ago, they weren't boots like this. They were like tennis shoes that had a steel toe and they were walking on nails and everything. So I think it's probably the same company. China. Do not eat, but it says lemon on it. Doesn't smell like lemon, we're opening it. I feel like I should eat it. This is a gun scrubber. This is for cleaning a gun. Anyway, if you guys know of any other weird Chinese products, I love doing these kind of videos. I like doing the Wish Armor kind of stuff. So if you guys have something that you've seen and you're like, I wanna know if that indestructible shoe actually is indestructible, hit me up. Let me know in the comments below, send us an email. I wanna know about it. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time.
it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. Tell me. <laughs> Burn the crap out of me. <laughs> Ow! That really burned me good. Uh, these shoes are the worst. <laughs>